That's the one that I put in the dishwasher. Welcome to my world, I say uh, a lot. So they're getting hot and they're dripping. I'm 50 now, I guess I should listen to my father. There that is go. not cast iron and I don't know what he's doing with that, but we're gonna just let him go. It really looks like an acorn. That looks really good. He's laughing at me again. He spends a lot of time laughing at me. Oh, then I don't have to blow up the house. For one, it's hot out. And two, I'm tired of cleaning the dog hair up off the floor. So what could go wrong, right? It's like Walmart over here, or a camping store, I guess. You're not in a beauty contest, are you? Hey, I put that in the dishwasher this morning and he kind of gave me a look and I went, oh, we better probably look at it. I have nothing to say on that. Hi, everybody, welcome back. We've got a project. We are going to try to season our some of our cast iron skillets over the open fire. Figured why not? It's 90 degrees again in Ohio and we have a fire going. I have nothing to say on that. So he, I'm he, thought it would be a great idea to season the skillets on this open fire. So what we're using is Crisco and I've coated these pans really good. I've got quite a few of them down here. My husband keeps pulling them out of the garage because he's got a lot of cast iron. He's got a lot more than this too. And if this works, I think we may end up seasoning all of them. I've already like put the Crisco on these pans right here. And we've got one going on the fire. It says to turn it upside down and let them burn until, or let them sit there until the fire burns out and the pans are cool enough to touch. So what could go wrong, right? You want to put the other pans on right. the fire? Peggy, my gloves just for you. <laughs> I, these, I know you like my gloves. Oh, these are like welding gloves, aren't these they? Are welding gloves. Uh, so if these get hot, he can touch this really stuff. Well. I can. Uh, I'm not going to do the other one. I don't think but I'll do the pans. I got room for skillet. I don't think. Yeah, there's room for that. Let's see. Can we move stuff around and make room for it? Probably not. You don't have to get an equal surface around it. That's okay, I can do that later. We've got this skillet thing down here, but that's going to be another day. That's two, I have that one, I got a round one. The okay. round one's reversible. You can change either side. So they're getting hot, they're dripping. They're upside down. He can move the grate like higher and lower on this thing, but we figured that's a good height there. What do you think? I think so. I don't want to catch them on fire, but we get them hot enough to. So why are we doing this? Should I tell them why we're doing this? They need you done. Well, they need done, but hold on, I'll tell you. He's laughing at me again. He spends a lot of time laughing at me. Welcome to my world, I say uh, a lot. Don't put cast iron in the dishwasher. It gets really rusty. Well, I just thought I would Real rinse fast. it. Yeah, well, I just thought I would put it in there just on the rinse cycle with no soap, it would get hot water. I thought, well, you know, what could go wrong? What, what's the difference? It rusted really bad. I mean, really bad. So, yeah. I told my husband, I said, hey, I put that in the dishwasher this morning. And he kind of gave me a look. And I went, oh, we better probably look at it. It's on the fire now. Yes, it's on the fire now. We're trying to Covering fix it. Covering Crisco. Yeah, we're trying to fix it. So we'll let you know how this goes later on in the day. We're gonna, I'm going to shave Mace. the dog today. Dog's getting a haircut. For one, it's hot out, and two, I'm tired of cleaning the dog hair up off the floor. It's cool. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm going to do that today, too. Our tomatoes, I've taken care of those. I've weeded them all. The disease, I think, is gone. We had that septoria leaf spot. We've sprayed them and watered them real good and taken care of them. I've added some of my compost in here from my compost pile aka the worm farm so that's looking pretty good i think it's looking the tomatoes are actually looking better my sunflowers are getting taller the garden's growing pool beans purple dragon beans more sunflowers now we do have a beetle problem but i don't want to i think we're going to try some beetle traps something i don't know because I don't want to spray like seven on these because I want the honeybees to come. I don't want to kill the honeybees. We want those. Our peppers are doing, they could be doing better, I think, but we'll wait on them and see. The loofah's climbing even more. Climbing even more. I've watered these really good. So we're doing pretty good. And we've got zucchini and acorn squash and I don't remember which is which. Welcome to my garden. I think that this one is an acorn squash because if you look right down there, it really looks like an acorn. So I know that's an acorn. That one is either an acorn or a zucchini. That's an acorn. 
that's acorn too. And the zucchini are down there. Acorn, zucchini. Here's a zucchini here coming out. We have a zucchini. We also have something eating this plant. Just the one on the end, and I can handle that because it's the acorn squash, and I meant to buy, I meant to buy butternut, butternut squash, not acorn squash. I even read the stinking label at the, at the store, and I'm like, oh, good, butternut squash. Got it home, planted it, reading it. It's acorn squash. I mean, come on, read whatever. Whatever. Now my dad, I was talking to my dad because he's gardened for years and years and years. And he told me, do you know why your plant, your tomatoes are doing that? And I'm like, well, yeah, because of the weather. And the, he said, you're watering them at night, right? <sighs> yeah. He told me to quit watering the tomatoes at night. Water them in the morning or even in the, in the afternoon. Just water them then because then we won't get this mold. So I did... I listen to my father. I'm 50 now. I guess I should listen to my father. It's time. It's time to do that. Well, the dog got a haircut. You want to see? It was like shearing a sheep. Now we got to be careful with the sunburn on the dog, and we're going to have to adjust the collars. He's still got this going over here. It's going to be a couple hours. But let me show you the other dog I shaved off. Now I did it on the back deck because look at all that hair. It was like shearing a sheep. We're gonna put all that in the compost, AKA worm farm, when we're done. We have a, something eaten one plant too. We might put it around one of our plants, one of our acorn squash plants, which I don't even know if I like acorn squash. Never had that ever. But we've got quite the pile happening. I must sit down now. I think the dog is mad at me. Come here, Racy. Come here. I know she looks goofy. Like her head, see her head? Show them your head, let's see. That's not done all the way. And I normally leave her legs in her tail because I don't want to do it. And her legs, she doesn't sit still well enough for me to do her legs. So I just do the, like, the main part of her body. You're not in a beauty contest, are you? Nope. No beauty contest there. Poor dog. She'll look goofy for a couple days and then the brown will start coming back. Thicker and you won't even tell and I won't have to be sweeping it off the floor so this makes me happy it's a win-win for me all right we're gonna check on these pans he wants to take them off soon so we can do the other pans he's got his temperature check thing going here okay we're in a high 400 range that one there is 402 that one there is 390 that one's 396 that one's 372 I can tell that the bottoms have gotten black, like that one that I put in the dishwasher and like rusted. It's looking blacker. This is the first one we put on. That's the one that I put in the dishwasher. I'm bringing it on this side so you're not in the smoke. Oh yeah, oh my, that looks really good. Yeah, that looks really nice. Let me see this one. This is the one. Oh, look how black that is. Oh, I might be real happy with this. I know smoke makes things black too, but I've been having trouble with that skillet. It's been driving me nuts. That one looks good. You want to just take them off and let them sit like in the grass? I'll put them back on here and swing them out of the way so they'll cool for us and not get put something on. Maybe put them on that. No, that'd be too hot. Just set them in the ground. Don't burn the grass. Well, that's okay. That's just somewhere you don't gotta mow. I got an idea. I need a key. He needs, okay, I have no idea. He has good ideas normally though, but we'll wait and see. Finally, we have bees in our yard. We haven't had bees in our yard for a long time. And I wanna show you my tulip tree since I walked all the way over here. I think it's gonna bud again, look at this. I think it's gonna bud again. There's quite a few. Last year, we didn't have hardly any on there. This year, we got really lucky. Oh, he's yelling for me, where did I go? Well, I followed you. Okay, let's go catch up with him. Oh, good gosh. He pulled more stuff out of his garage. Didn't even know he owned that thing. So, you're gonna just set him? Double propane burner. Is that something I can do my canning on outside? Oh, then I don't have to blow up the house. Oh, goodness. Okay, well. 
All right, I hope, uh, Peggy, are you looking at this thing? I have one of these. Didn't even know that. He's pulling canning stuff out of the garage, too. I about tripped over this pan. Look at this pan. That is go. not cast iron, and I don't know what he's doing with that, but we're going to just let him go. Well, I'm going to treat the same way. It's not quite as long, not quite as hot. Okay. It looks more like a steel pan. I, I don't know. Those look really nice. Wonder if I should like wipe out any excess oil. I don't even think there's excess oil. Rags over there on the... He's got rags. Sure he does. Yes he does. Do you even see any excess oil? There's should I wipe it off now? Is now the time to do that? Yeah, I would. All right, we'll get the rag and start wiping. You got the gloves. <laughs> He's got. I don't know what he has. It's like Walmart over here. Or a camping store, I guess. There's nothing in here. Nothing? Okay. That lid has a little bit, I know, because it was... Turn... Let me see the bottom of that lid. Because that was brown, because, you know, that's what I put in the dishwasher. Oh, it's... Look at there, it's black again. Note to self, don't put pans in the dishwasher. That are cast iron. This is the pan that I really would like to work, but for some reason we keep getting sticky. Let's hope that this solved the problem because this is really hot. All right, you're gonna put the other pans. You're gonna put more fire in the fireplace yeah, thing first. He's going to get more wood. We'll just follow him because it seems like all I have to do is follow him around on the weekends and we find things to film. In fact, he told me, are you going to go get your camera? Yeah, I'll go get my camera. Sure. Well, I've got a variety of wood here. I got maple. I got oak. I think he has pine. cherry in the garage too, don't you? Cherry in the garage. Stuff I got back there is ash. It's the new, new stuff I got. This right. here is the stuff I cut out of that limb there. That's all maple, sugar maple. We've got it all over here, folks. I don't ever complain about his garage being a mess anymore because who knows what, I don't know what he's going to pull out of it. Listen, we used to have a, a sealer thing, a bag sealer yeah. thing and all. We had two of those that I sold at a garage sale because I didn't think I would ever need. Now I need it. I need to buy one. Well, we'll let that fire get going or are you just going to put them yeah, on I'm now? Yeah, I'm going to take off and then I'll have to put some. Okay. Get some fire, get some fire in there instead of smoke. Okay, perfect. All right, now he's got this big thing on there. We'll see what that does. It's not cast iron, but it's big. It covers that whole grate. Yep. All right, are you going to push it on there now? All right, well, we'll be back to see what happens with this pan. I hope he doesn't ruin it, but he cooks on the fire with this pan anyway. So I don't think he's going to ruin it, but we'll okay. be back. I took the, uh, the big pan off here. I got it for about 350 degrees. I'll show you. It's not really cast iron, so I don't want to overheat it. I want to warp it. So if I well, if I bring it to 350 degrees or so, it's starting to look dark and colored. I'll take it off for now, and then I'll try it. If it doesn't work, I'll just do it again, a little higher temperature. I did put the, uh, the skillets on the grill. Got them going now. I'll see uh, what they're up to. I'll bring them up to about 450, 230 right now. 218. So we're getting there. Be on for a couple hours and add, add the wood as I need it. Back later and check them out. I'm back. These are the uh, pans that we done earlier. They're cool to the touch now. You look good all the way around, inside and out. Rusty called it a success. The other ones are on the uh, stove here, heating right away. They're doing looking good. You turn it here over. This one's reversible, either side. I turn it over. You get some of the oil dripped off it too. But I'm gonna call this a success. Anyways, uh, like the video, give me a thumbs up. Back for more. There's always something going on around here. See you then.